where, where are you standing when it comes to, to CDN? Are you using a multi CDN solution? Yeah, to... uh, that's actually, yeah, it's a, it's a very good question again, uh, Magnus. So I think from our point of view, I think it, it's important to understand uh, there are two big themes which I could talk about in this space. You know, like one thing is this that how do we do CDN selection? So that's for sort of like a, a layer that we have to deal with. And a lot of that is dictated a little bit by uh, even by our obligations, et cetera, which studios are mandating to us who are providing us the content. So which sort of like uh, is making us think a lot about that the kind of CDN partners and all we are working with, where do they stand in terms of their WAF policies or their geoprotection techniques and a lot of those things. So that's one trend. The other thing uh, clearly is is around multi CDN. So we uh, we are sort of like more and more uh, realizing that uh, putting all our eggs in one basket is not the wisest thing, in some ways. So we we actively uh, we use at the moment. I mean, we are using uh, uh, two CDNs, and uh, we actively want to work more and more in that space. And just choosing the CDN which fits for the purpose for that given. The, given user at a given point in time. So that's a, that's a kind of like uh, two themes there. There's a lot of thinking around how uh, automation could achieve the CDN switching uh, at the runtime again, where we are actively working in our player code base, but also all the time uh, encouraging our vendors as well that you should be thinking about these things that uh, how analytics and uh, uh, their uh, decisioning could be smarter about what CDNs, et cetera, they are choosing to serve the code or, or serve the uh, content back to the client. So a lot of lot of interesting stuff happening in that area. Uh, connected to that is a little bit of scale, uh, thinking around scale as well. So where, um, as, a, as I was saying, like, I mean, we, are, we saw this whole, during the COVID time, we saw unprecedented load on our services and i guess a lot of people who are hearing to this uh, talk and even you you might echo to that that sentiment and uh, that has just given us a little bit of a glimpse at what ip and all might look like in future so which is another challenge that how we keep our offloading to our origins optimal all the time and which cdns are actively working in that space innovating in that space they become unnatural choices because they, we don't want to raise the co cost for our origin hits and all. So yeah, uh, that, that's, a, that's a lot there, Magnus. I hope I answered some of some of your part Absolutely. of the question. There. Absolutely, yeah. I, I know it's a complex area and, and especially when you're talking about a lot of these big events and, and the live events coming up and also at the same time handling the long tail of VODs, it, it's two different challenges.